Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of videos I've been doing boil tests on this open spirit stove that I got from my local Army Navy store. Oh, by the way, I went there today and got their last two kits they had. Still at the same price. They asked me what I was doing with all these and I explained to them that I think their prices were way too low. I think what they were charging for was just for the spirit stove, which is this setup, not counting the uh, pot and the fry pan. But anyway, uh, so far I've done two tests on this. One where the burner was on the inside like this, the way it's supposed to be. With that, we got a result of two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil in 8 minutes, 39 seconds. Not a good time, not a bad time, kind of like, you know, eh. Then I had it suggested that I should put the burner on the ground and put it on like that. So that's what I did in the last test. That one, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 5 minutes and 52 seconds. That saved about what? A uh, minute and a half, two, two and a half minutes? Yeah, two and a half minutes. Now, I'm having people say, please flip it over and do it like that. So that's what I'm going to do today. The one thing that comes in with this, though, this is made to fit inside the pot, which is in the refrigerator right now, getting the water cooled off. So when I put the pot on here, now this is the fry pan, so it's bigger, but you have to be real careful with putting the pan on, the saucepan on here so that it doesn't fall down into the uh, pot stand. One other thing, Drunken Shooter had made a comment that he likes the idea of putting something under the burner. I had said that with it like this, it's actually too much of a distance between the burner and the bottom of the pot, but that maybe by putting something underneath the burner to raise it up and then putting the pot stand on would... You know, kind of like this. This is too much. But like that, adjust it that way. So what he had said, he likes the idea of putting something underneath the burner. Not so much to fine tune the flame, but because he doesn't like setting the burner right on the cold ground. Or if using it in car camping, he doesn't want the burner on the camp table, tailgate, or whatever. I agree with him, especially in the winter. I think I've shown this before, I'll try to show this without flashing out the camera. This is just a piece of cardboard with the silver tape, the aluminum tape on it. In the winter that goes on the ground, burner goes on that, so this insulates the burner from the cold ground, but the aluminum tape also reflects the heat up to help you with that. So this could be done something like this, although that doesn't if it, this was made smaller that it fit underneath here, then that could raise up the, the burner some. So anyway, that's along with his idea. I agree with Drunken Shooter. All right, let me go get the water set up for the temperature. We'll run this test, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my water here. Let me light this. I've measured the amount of alcohol. I've been getting requests to show how much alcohol is consumed during this. Sorry about that. Let's see, we get a bloom here. Now, somebody had also commented about how putting this on the table and insulating it keeps this from acting like a huge heat sink. All right, here we go. We got a bloom. Let me see if I can put this on here. This is really touchy. Because this is right at the size. There we go. It could fall off when it starts boiling. But that's two cups of water at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, now here we are three minutes into the test. You can see the spread there. Looks like it's about as wide as it was with the burner on the ground but that's three minutes
Hit here we have 210, 211, 212, and 651. Okay, let me get this off of here and stop this. Okay, that wasn't so hot. That was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a full boil of 212 deg 212 degrees Fahrenheit in 6 minutes and 51 seconds. The first test we did using all of this the right way was 8 minutes 39, so this beats that. But putting this on the ground underneath the stand gave us a boil time of 5 minutes 52 seconds, or let's say 6 minutes. So it kind of looks like the uh, thing of putting it on the ground like that is about the fastest way. Now there can still be some fine tuning here of uh, just jacking up the burner like that, getting it a little bit closer. But even with this method, I can still use the simmering somewhat. It's not on there flat, but it's still on there fairly good. Okay, so what I'll do is let this stuff cool off. I'll get a weight on this. So this will all be done in the text area. And if I remember, I'll put it here on the screen how much alcohol was consumed in that 6 minutes and 51 seconds. Almost 7 minutes. I hope that helps. Oh, before I go away. Uh, for some reason, I've had a number of people asking me to start cooking with this stuff. I think they kind of missed the point of what I'm trying to do here. But if there is a desire for me to do cooking, I will. Uh, give me some ideas of what you want. Most of the stuff I do is dehydrated stuff kits where you're just putting hot water into it and you know reconstituting it uh, you know I don't know what to say uh, just give me some ideas of what kind of stuff you want cooked up if you want to see what I eat I can do that too but that's not very exciting okay so I thank you for watching I thank those that uh, gave me the comments for trying different ways with this I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.